hopefully you don't need like super oh Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. All right, y'all, y'all see all this makeup on my face, okay? So y'all know what that means. It means it's time for another super extra nighttime routine. Tonight's not gonna be as extra as it usually is just because I don't have too many new skincare products to try, but we are gonna get into some new new, okay? Some new new skincare. Let's go ahead and get this show on the road. If you guys watched the last video, you know my tried and true we emptied her. Okay, she's gone. She in the trash. I did not keep the remainings of the body and I have not run to my local Target to replace her. But we do have another cleansing balm that I'm actually very excited to try out. This one is by Elemis and is the Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Cleansing Balm. This is super freaking adorable. I got this in my Macy's beauty box, which was popping. They did their thing on that Macy's Jane box. Wait, no, not January, February. Their Macy's February box was popping. I didn't get the January box. We're gonna see if this is as good or better than that e.l.f. melting bomb. It doesn't really have a scent to it, but I mean, that's a decent amount for you to try out. That's just about as much as I had in my little e.l.f. hydro melting, I don't even know what it was called. Just so that y'all already know, after I put the melting bomb on my face and it melts, my face. I will be wiping all the makeup off with this Julep Bamboo Hydrating Water Cleansing Cloth. So if you see me bird boxing, I'm looking for this. Ooh, that was very soft. I don't know why, but I thought it was gonna be like rock hard, but this was actually really, really soft. I think this should be enough for now. I don't wanna run through it too fast, cause you know, it's Elvis. This feels actually really good. Okay, Elvis, give an elf a run for their money. You know, the real tell gonna be when we get to the eyes. Is it gonna clean off these mascara lashes as good as the elf? Only a few more moments will tell. Get the eyebrows, gotta get the brows. All right, y'all, moment of truth. Hopefully that's enough cleansing, balming action going on there. I'm gonna go bird box my way to these makeup wipes. Not too shabby. Oh yeah, I still got a little bit of makeup right here. Well, I mean, that's the first cleanse. I'm going to cleanse my face again. So the rest of this gunk is gonna get off of there. I mean, for the first time use, this cleansing balm is pretty good. It probably would have came off a little bit better if I used even more of the balm, but y'all already know I'm cheap and I'm trying to make this stuff last, okay? I am actually going to wash my face with something that I got in my glam bag. And this is a one-time use, so if we like her, then we're SOL, okay? We're SOL unless we decide to actually buy the full size. This is the Evercalm Cleansing Milk. I'm sorry, Gentle Cleansing Milk. And this is by Ren Skincare. I've been hesitant to use this. Once you open her, she done. Okay, you gotta snap that off. And once it's snapped off, it is done. You're done, that's all you're getting. You can't seal her back up unless you like squeeze her into your own little container and then seal her up and put her away. That's the only way you get to keep this. But even then, it's already exposed to the air. So I've been saving her for my next video, which is this one. So we're gonna go ahead and give this cleansing milk a try. Uh, cleansing milk is very unsettling. That's a very unsettling way to describe a cleanser, but we'll hold our reservations. I feel like I still got mascara on my eyes because when I blinked, it just went all over. Hopefully you don't need like super, oh! <laughs> Bruh, it did not just, that thing just like squirted out with such aggression, it's actually kind of ridiculous. This is actually a lot of products, so I don't know why they don't put it in a resealable container. I could have gotten at least like three good washes out of this. Let's go ahead and cleanse, double cleanse, do the rent cleanse, skin care cleanse, cl 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 cleanse. Okay, let's cleanse. It definitely has like a calming scent. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's like geranium or something, but it does have like a really calming scent to it. That actually felt really nice. Why is it 
The one that's like actually really nice is in a jacked up package. It did leave my skin feeling really good. Next, we're actually gonna go ahead and exfoliate the lips. And this is the Ancient Cosmetics Birthday Cake Cocoa Butter and Jojoba Oil Base Lip Scrub. Okay, she's almost the empty. As you can see, there's like a squig in there. I'm trying to use her up so I can move on to my other one, which is in the flavor Sugar Rush. Sugar Rush, and then after that, watermelon. Now the battle against the crusty besties. Moving on, I'm actually gonna try another thing that's new. And this is the Jorganic from Nature, Jor Jorganic from Nature, Propolis Clear Peeling Pad. Now I believe I got these in like a mystery Ipsy, which is where most of this stuff comes from. Take one pad and gently smooth over face with the embossed side to remove dead skin cells and waste from the pores, avoiding the eyes and the mouth. And then flip over and use the other side to wipe away any remaining impurities on the skin. This is what it looks like. I'm guessing this side is the embossed side. My lips are feeling really dry. I do not want to wait until the end to try to put something on my lips. So I am going to put this little balm on my lips for the meantime and cleaning time. Juicy. And this is actually my expired Plum Candy Melts Lip Balm. I just needed to put something on my lips because they were just, they were starting to feel so dry. I don't want them to crack because that's when the real crusties and dusties, the boss crusties and dusties come in. When you let your lips get cracked, bruh, no bueno. Next, we're actually gonna go in with a mask. I've tried this mask off camera a couple of times and it actually feels really good on the skin. However, it smells like booty. This smells like straight up booty, but it works wonders. And this is the Aphrodite Olive Oil Face Mask Deep Cleansing. Instant hydration with aloe vera and spirul spirul spirulina extracts. Smells like straight up booty, but works like a charm. It stank, but I know it works, so I keep putting it on my face. And I'm almost out too. I'm telling you I'm gonna be buying booty, booty masks, booty fragranced masks. We are covered in olive oil booty mask. It doesn't say how long you're supposed to let this sit. I'm gonna go for like 15, 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna come right back and wash this off of my face. I'm back, it's about 20 some minutes later. Y'all have no idea how ready I am to get this off of my face. It stank so bad. I really like the mask. My skin always feels amazing afterwards, but the smell is just horrendous. I need to make sure I check up real nice and close because last time y'all let me go the whole video with a thing of masks still on my nose. And the mask is off my face. I mean, I don't know what all this was for. I am gonna go back in with my rock, my rock serum. Don't see any differences, but I like the experience, okay? I like doing this. I like doing this. Breaking it and squeezing it and I don't know, it's just, it's an experience. I really want one of those little cold globe things that you get for your eyes. Now we're actually gonna do another little mask, but like it's like part of mask, it's not full mask. It's just like a one fourth of a mask. And we're actually gonna go in with these Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. These are nice. I actually have more, which is awesome. So juicy, all this juice. Shoot. I don't know, it's something about an eye mask that just makes you feel luxurious. And these are gold, so it's even more luxurious feeling. 10, 15 minutes and I'll be back to take these off and finish the rest of my extreme, not as extreme nighttime skincare routine. All right, and I'm back. My baggage has been claimed and I'm just gonna go ahead and remove these little, little eye masks. Next, I'm gonna go back in with, I guess this is a new tried and true. And this is my Feel Squalene Facial Oil. My skin's feeling absolutely 
luxurious. The next thing I'm gonna go in with my Verso with, 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 with. the next thing I wanna go in with is my Verso Nourishing Cream with Niacinamide. Okay, number three. I'm just gonna put a little bit underneath my eyes on the on the areas that tell others you're you're, you're maturing. Okay, that's the phrase we're gonna use. Maturing. Rub those into those areas. Hopefully you keep those areas nice and plump. I'm not afraid of the aging process. I hope that's not what that comes across as. It's probably exactly how it comes across. But I'm actually not afraid of the aging process. I think that this is part of life. Actually, I don't think that. I know that. <laughs> this is a part of life. We're gonna age. The next thing I'm going to go in with is another Elemis product. You know your girl Rich Rich. No, I'm not. These things come very cheaply within subscription boxes and old subscription boxes. So this is the Elemis Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer. Kombucha Glow Moisturizer. And this is what it looks like. This one actually comes with a decent amount of product. Unlike all these other little creams and moisturizers that come from these expensive brands, this one is pretty full. My skin feels so freaking luxurious, but it always feels really good after that stanky olive oil mess. My skin is nice and moisturized, you know, glass skin. Pigmented, hyperpigmented glass skin, but glass skin nonetheless. I am going to go back in with my Egyptian magic. Y'all know I love this stuff. When I run out of this, I am definitely gonna go get the big tube. I always like to put a layer of this underneath my lip oil. You know, this is part of the war efforts against the crusty besties. And y'all, I'm actually gonna try a different lip oil tonight. As some of you will know, if you've seen my other videos, your girl got her P. Louise box. And so I'm actually gonna go in with this P. Louise lip oil. Isn't this just so darn cute? I love this little crown thing. I think that is just so adorable. And this is called the P. Louise Stay Shining, and this is in Flashy Lifestyle. So we're actually gonna give this a try. This is my first time using this product. I know it's got like little flexes of like shimmers in there and I am about to just like go to sleep but hopefully it'll leave my lips feeling good that's what I'm aiming for I think my cop cosmetics will be the one I usually wear to bed and then during the day I'll use this one because it has you know prettiness to it it smells amazing Number one, it smells so tasty. It smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher, and it's just like, oh my God. Another thing, this doe foot is glorious. Like, it is just so nice. It feels really good on my lips. And the lip oil itself is pretty decent. To be honest, my Cobb Cosmetics lip oil, the stuff right here, is a little bit better. <laughs> Okay, it's a little bit better. I do like this a little bit more. This is my main effort against the crusty dusties outside of exfoliating. This is really nice, okay? It's not bad. It's actually really nice. It has a wonderful scent to it. But this one, I, I just, it's, it's my favorite. <laughs> just, nobody's eaten after Cobb Cosmetics when it comes to lip oil, okay? They, they, got the, they got the game on lip oil locked down. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Fey Bay. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.